All right, guys. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, today I will be talking about using the Lumia phones. I think it's all kind of Lumia phone that can do this as a remote for your PC. I think if you need to do this kind of stuff, you need to have two applications. One will be installed on your PC and one will be installed on your phone. Yeah, to get started, you need to download this application from the internet. You go to the Internet Explorer and you type PC Remote Server.com. I'm going to put a link under the description of my video. Once you get there, you can see PC Remote Server. So I already have this application on my PC. And I already have in my phone but to get started on your phone you go to the apps market you can find it there too for so it's called PC remote server or just a PC remote I think it's PC remote you can find it under the apps in the market as you can see this top one this PC remote server that's the one I use haven't downloaded this application you must have installed both on your phone before you can get started and how do you get started you hop on the one on your PC which is this one as you can see once you double click it opens and you hop on the one on your phone which is PC you can see I already have it in my phone. Yeah. Then how do you configure this? It's very easy peasy. Just go to the hard, the plus sign. When you're gonna hard, you're gonna pair the IP address. The IP address must be the same thing. The one on your PC, I think that one is automatically generated by the application on your PC, and the one on your phone. You have to map it together. They must be the same thing before you can use your phone as a remote for your PC. Now, this is my IP address. I think it's 16914. And this one on the PC, on my phone rather, I think I have to put it. It has to be the same thing. 16914. Then you click hard. After you've done that, this will pop up. As you can see mouse keyboard desktop power control volume and files this application is so great very great you can use it for a lot of stuff it's got iTunes media player win app a lot of stuff a lot when I mean a lot you guys can see it got control it's got feature app and it's got media control but I'm going to be dealing with the controls at the minute. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go to the mouse on my phone. So I'm going to go to mouse. Then I haven't done that. You can see. I don't know, maybe you can see this. You can see my mouse is moving. You can see. You can see it's moving on my PC as I'm doing this you can see it there you can use this to launch an application to do anything you do with your mouse and keyboard you don't even need to get closer you don't even need to get closer at all now I'm gonna start some apps okay I'm gonna go to the Internet Explorer no I mean go Chrome okay see I'm gonna type before you can type just click on keyboard the second icon from the bottom path see keyboard once you click keyboard I've done that it pops up then you can type YouTube let me just say YouTube you see that then I say type again search video let me see Lumia 
Let me just say Lumia. Lumia 920. So I click enter. See that? Then I use my mouse to move. See that? That is it. Fantastic. Fantastic. When I look at my phone, I see the place see that? I keep home thing, work thing. I can do everything with this app. Even if you have a faulty keyboard or you have a faulty touchpad, you can still do stuff with your phone. I can mute, you see? See the volume control? I can mute, I can reduce the volume. I can increase the volume. You see? Everything I can do on my phone without even touching the keyboard. Another great thing is I can shut down. I can restart my system. Anything, everything is possible. You can type with this app. You can type a letter on your phone in this app. You can do a lot of great stuff. That is it. Very easy, easy to use, and easy to configure. As you guys know, Nokia and Microsoft are the easiest product one can use so it's not I don't want to talk about this Sam Dunga the yeah, HT shit stuff I have to reduce this okay I think that's all I want to show you guys and uh, once you click on the desktop you can actually bring your desktop to your phone your PC desktop to your phone look at that very great so while you're watching on your desktop you can still watch it on your phone very great you can see that very very great and these apps are motherfucking free great app but they are free i can open the media center see pictures live tv see once i click on it it comes back to media center see a lot of stuff pictures videos you can do a lot of stuff here. Yeah. See? Well, I'm not going to go to the media center. I think that's all I got for you guys today. I just want you to see. You guys should just try and download the application and try it for yourself. This application is free. I mean, it's free. It's not paid for, it's just free. Uh, that's all I got to show you guys today. So, see you guys next time. Bye.